When I was 16, I went into what I thought was gonna be a normal day at biology class. And when I walked in, all the desks were arranged in a circle in the middle of the room. And the instructor who had always been a really amazing, loving, kind instructor was super militant, super scary, and just looked at us and said, sit down, shut up. You are not allowed to move, to speak at all. And anyone who does will immediately fail my class. And we were all stunned. I, I get like, just thinking about it because I was a straight A student and grades were really important to me and I was just like terrified. So we're all sitting there silently, nervous out of our minds. And in the middle of this circle that we were all sitting in, there was one desk. And on this desk was a bowl with a goldfish in it. And he looked at us and he took the goldfish and he put it on the desk and he walked out and he shut the door. And we all just looked at each other, just like, what do we do? You know, like, obviously it violated like everything inside of me to like watch this fish die. And also I heard the instruction. If you speak, if you get up, if you move, you will automatically fail the class. And so we all sat there looking to each other to do something because we didn't want it to be us. And what was a very painful, it felt like an eternity, it was probably like two and a half minutes later, Hannah, Hannah B, got up and took the goldfish and put it back in the bowl. And when she did that, he came out and he looked at all of us and he said, look what the world has done to you. You've betrayed yourself. For what? And I think about that lesson all the time because I learned in that moment that I am never going to be that person ever again. That when I see something that is wrong, even if it's just me, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna do what's right. Have you ever been asked a question, in, like in the testing center, that you knew the answer but you didn't agree with the answer? No, I don't really question anything. You don't really question <laughs> anything. Okay, so gas expands in a vacuum chamber, right? Mm -hmm, I guess. Okay, gas expands in a vacuum chamber, like the moment you break the seal, it just goes everywhere, right? But NASA claims that stars are formed by gas clumping together in the vacuum of space. Do you agree with that claim that gas clumps together in the vacuum of space to form stars? I guess. I you guess? Know. Okay, so you just, if the school says so, you just, it must be so, and you just kind yes. of write it down? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whenever you put gas into a vacuum, that gas expands and fills the entire vacuum, correct? Yes. All right. You put gas in a vacuum? When you put gas into a vacuum chamber, okay. Okay, you, like you break the seal and that gas goes and uh -huh. just goes everywhere yeah. inside the vacuum. Do you know how stars are formed? No. NASA claims that gas clumps together in the vacuum of space. Okay. Right? And it gets so dense and packed together that it explodes and turns into a star. Okay. Right? Yeah. So if you don't agree with that explanation, because we don't observe that happening in any vacuum chamber that we've ever seen, gas expands, it, it doesn't clump together. Right? And if that's a test question saying gas clumps together in, in vacuum of space to turn into a star, would you feel like that's being forced to lie on a test? Um, yeah, I could see that. I could see how that could be forced to lie. Okay, so if that's a test question, right, and you're forced to say that gas clumps together in a vacuum to form stars, and you don't agree with it because we don't observe that happening anywhere, uh, because we, we know that gas expands, would you feel like that's being forced to lie on a test? Almost, because 
I don't know. I feel like if you're not learning it, then... Like, you know the answer that they yeah. want you to say, yeah. but you don't agree with their answer. Yeah. But if you, if you tell them a different answer, oh, you're getting docked. Yeah, then I definitely feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's what students do. I think you just want the right answer. You will go with what, like, ever teachers want you to know. Uh -huh. yes. Would you call that indoctrination? Probably. Probably? Yeah. Would you, do you feel like the, that's a problem that needs to get fixed? Yes. Yeah. Because they're not actually learning. I feel like it's just more, I want to get a good score. Indoctrination is the process of teaching a person or group a set of beliefs uncritically. If you are forced to agree with your teacher or get docked, that is indoctrination. Should a student ever be forced to deny their religion in a state-run school? No. No? I don't think so. Okay. So if a test question were to ask you, is there a God, and force you to say no or be docked, would that be forcing you to deny your religion? Hmm. Yeah, I would think that would be. Okay. So how about we expand that a little bit further into, uh, say, something like the Big Bang, right? A lot of religious people don't believe in the Big Bang. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if a test question were to ask you, when did the Big Bang happen, expecting you to say 13.8 billion years ago, would that be forcing a religious person who does not believe in the Big Bang to deny their religion? Mm. Hmm. I would say in a way, because the Big, Bear, Big Bang theory is subjective, and so, I don't know, everyone thinks differently about it. Okay. And so, I don't know, you're kind of forcing everybody's thoughts into one just box. And so, I don't know, I think that's just conforming everyone. That doesn't make sense. So, how about just simply rephrasing the question? Instead of asking, when did the Big Bang happen? Ask, when does NASA claim the Big Bang happened? See, I think that'd be a much more appropriate way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. But I went and talked to the department head on this, the department chair uh, in Earth Sciences, and he said simple little changes like that would be infeasible. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Infeasible. That make any sense to you? No, that does not. Even if he's the one writing the test and he acknowledged that he's the one writing the test? Right. Yeah, that, that sounds kind of silly to me, right? Yep. Join me. Become a defender of truth by actually getting up and doing something. I've got phone numbers and emails here. Send a text. Send an email. Not just to these people, but to your local school teachers and school boards. Write to your state board of education. This problem is everywhere. Defend your right to disagree and have your own beliefs. Together, we can make a difference. Send.